morning. We're back in Broken Ranks, and our free week of premium is over. Unfortunately, I did not remember to log in every day for the free roll, but I did do a couple, managed to get some nice potions out of it, so that's good. Also, as I was thinking about where I could possibly go to get more quests, I remembered this old tree here had a level 30 quest, so let's talk to him. Hello, Master Tree. What brings you here, puny human? Hello? Is there any way I can help Viridim? Viridim. Hmm, I believe so. Yes. Have you heard about the giant toad that lives nearby? I know nothing about it. Is it bothering you? The toad used to be a human. His name was Temden and he turned himself into this monster. Why would he do this? He wanted to escape his punishment. He was my alchemist, but he'd rather sell the results of his research, sponsored by Viridum, than give them to me. He drank one of his potions to avoid answering for his misconduct. Break the spell. Bring him to me, and I'll reward you. Fine. Do you know how I can break the spell? Go to Zohar. He'll tell you what to do. Will do. See you later. Alright, we gotta go find Zohar. Oh. Oh, you are in a Zohar, not Zotar. You're Zohar. You have a quest that requires level 65. I've seen a couple of those. Hello. The tree says that you can help me break the spell in the toad. You want to help us with the toad? Great. You'll need depths of breath to swim to the toad's lair and a spell to undo the effects of the potion. How can I get both of them? We'll take care of the spell later. First, you'll help me with research on depths of breath. It's an elixir that lets you breathe underwater. I need a young fish to make it. Can't tell me where I can find it. You better ask one of those creatures, a more intelligent specimen preferably. There's a friendly gymnorid on the beach in Alarill, if I remember correctly. We go there and talk to him. Just don't ask him directly, because he won't tell you anything. I see. Wait, but first you need a net to catch the fishel. Go to the shipwreck on the beach, you can find it there. Even more trouble. Fine, I'll be back when I catch the young fishel. gonna say. Were well, we gonna have to fight our way? Yeah, we, we definitely are. I missed. Game on me. That, but that didn't miss, though. here, but he didn't specify it was at the shipwreck. Oh, I almost got by everything. Well, hello, dead guys. You do realize you're dead, right? They realize they can. Wow, this guy is tough. Oh, one's down. 
Now you're throwing rocks at my back. Not a very good idea. I guess it took him attacking my bat for me to actually, like, I don't know, get him? Find a net. Okay, so it is pointing in that direction. Well, let's finish resting first. How are we doing? 25%, almost halfway. That's the wrong thing. Halfway through level 34? Nothing there. Well, maybe it's inside the boat. I didn't consider that possibility. Well, let's fight a few dead guys, huh? Yeah, I kind of figured. <laughs> Wasn't going to get past them without a fight. I tried. Okay. One down. the ship where we can rest oh we have to get it through all sorts of stuff to get to it don't we interesting very interesting indeed I love the quest it's called croak of despair And I guess I should take a moment, and since, you know, I did make some use of the free week of premium, to congratulate Broken Ranks on their one-year anniversary. I didn't even realize that it had come out 
a year ago. It's funny. You don't think about that when you're playing a game. But yeah. Hopefully they will keep going. Because it is actually a pretty fun game. Whoa, what are you? He looks mean. Official warrior. Oh, he wasn't that mean. It's pretty easy to take down. The Snake and Protection. Here's three. You cannot rest here, okay? He's creepy looking. It looks like a skull. Wow. Miss all of those hits, huh? y'all. Do you ever see fishing net? And let's go <laughs> regenerate some stamina. Because me and the bass both used up quite a bit of that. Now, let's go talk to Mandu. Now, how are we going to talk to Mandu without telling him exactly what we're doing? I don't want to really lose his goodwill. easy sometimes. Guys, seemed a lot scarier. Now they're pretty easy peasy. Too bad not all of it's that way. Alright, let's see how this conversation goes. 
Hello, human. What are you looking for at the seashore? I'm always ready to help a friend. Hello. I have a question about your race. What would you like to know? I'm conducting research regarding your, well, brothers. Oh, it's a delicate matter. And what do you want to know? Do they reproduce? It is. No human has ever been interested in, in this. Only in gold. Do you want some gold? I'll get some gold for my research. Do you know how they reproduce? Well, their females lay eggs in safe spots, most often caves with access to the sea. Then their males spray milk on the eggs. When the young ones hatch, they find their way to water. I see. Very useful information. Thanks. Lost the net in the cave. Oh, okay. So we're going to have to go in this cave and fight for some stuff to get the young. Wow, he's a sneaky one. Not that sneaky, though. Who infected mosquitoes? Oh, what do I owe this on him? Alright, mosquito blood. I don't think I have too much of. No, I have eight of them. Guess I'm working my way towards, uh, Another batch of Omsi seeds, huh? Let's see if I can remember where this cave is. Leaves me alone now. Ah, I do remember where it is. Underground lake. Past the net. You've lost fishing net. Fasten the ropes. Ah. Okay. Okay. There we go. Take the official. Who received young official? Surprisingly enough, official wasn't screaming its head off and attracting attention. Almost got away. Easy 
peasy. take the short way. The short way also requires us fight, so we're going to take the slightly longer way, and I'm thinking either way we do it, it's going to be just as quick. Penny God. Well, hello, random person. I hope you're having fun. Oh, two random people. Nice. All right, back to the Druid village. I probably shouldn't stand on top of the guy, huh? I've caught the young official. I can smell it. You've done a great job. Now we can go back to the spell. I have the concept to base a formula on, but for that we'll need a wizard. I think you have someone on your mind already. You're very observant. Yes, I trade frequently with a traveling wizard named Ibtissum. He comes here about once in six or seven moons, and each time he visits me. It so happens that he's spending the night at Lusker's Inn. He'll help us with the formula. Won't he require payment for it? He'll probably will, but Vir Viridium will pay. Give him my concept. Thanks to it, Epissum will know what formula I'm talking about. Great, I'll be back soon. I have this all planned out, but I need you to be my pet girl. I'm wondering if this guy ever leaves, this alchemist ever leaves the village. There's several random people tonight. Guide. And she's got a quest that I think it's like level 65. Jack. Um, Bobby. Why is it smoky looking over here? That's weird. Oh, up the stairs. This must be, yep. Hello, hello, who are you? Miss Bella, Zohar sends me. I have a spell concept for you. Ah, oh, Zohar, yes, yes, my favorite customer. Give it to me. Hmm, mm-hmm, yeah. It'll cost you. I already know that, gold is not a problem. Ah, oh, yes, yes, that's what it says here, it's Oh, God, it's from Ag Agus Augusta Hep Hepium. Yes, from him. Fine, I have to ask you a favor. My man went missing. He was supposed to bring me magical components. I need them very much, among others, to fulfill Zohar's request. Find him, will you? I should have guessed gold won't be enough. Do you have any idea where he vanished? Hmm. Hmm. Probably on the way from the merchant. But every time I come here, a group of thugs bothers us. The warriors, my guards, deal with them. But it's tiresome. Maybe they got him. If you find them, kill them all. Do you know where I can find them? I do, I do. They bother us near the ruined tower most times. Ah, Lando's estate is close. Yes, yes, the good merchant Lando. Ali should be returning from him exactly. That's his name, Ali. Give me your map. I'll mark the location. Great. I'll be right back. You do your part. 
Alright, so he is sending us to find Allie. Then why does this sound like an awfully familiar quest? It does. It sounds incredibly familiar. Crossroads. Find Alley. Cliff. Um. And they've killed Alley. Haha, <laughs> take her dress off. Rip it off and throw her off the cliff. I wonder how she tastes. And then we'll go rob another caravan. Leave the woman alone. Look, what a noble soul. Throw her off the cliff. You defend yourself. Alright, how many are we facing here? Four? Sneaky one. Come on back. Come on, get him. Thank you. Boy, he's Mr. Berserker here goes after me. Alright. Bandits taken care of. Severe furrow? Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen that one before. Throw her off the cliff, huh? What lovely people. Thank you. No problem. I couldn't just leave you here. You've saved me. What is such a brave girl doing in this place? Have you heard my screams? It's a long story. What are you doing here all alone? I'm alone because I have no one to protect me. If only I was younger, I could be an independent girl like you. But instead, I was married to an alchemist. One day he disappeared, and that was it. He probably left me for some homewrecker. Hemden, you... Hemden? Yes, Hemden. Why? Apart from killing bandits on cliffs, I'm actually looking for a man named Hemden. If you find him, treat him the same as these bandits here. I think you need to know something. About what? Your husband didn't escape. One of his potions turned him into a frog. What? You tell her everything you know about the alchemist. Ah, oh, ha, ha. I'd gladly hit him with something heavy. I thought he ran away from me. But this story is so hilarious, I can't stop laughing. So, when will the charlatan return to me? As soon as I turn him back, I hope. I'd be very thankful. I have some savings left. I'd gladly share them with you if you bring him back. I'll be waiting nearby, by the lake. Great. Who's the boy? Ollie. Poor lad. He tried to defend me, but they stabbed him. 
What were you doing here? Allie promised me a cream for my crow's feet. I couldn't miss such an opportunity. Right. I also need something he had on him. Is this it? The woman points to the magical component flying beside Allie. Yes, this is it. Thanks. Miss Bella, leave this winch and get to work. Who are you and how do you know my name? Someone who knows you. You've been hired by the tree. I'm to oversee your work and what do I see when I find you that you're chasing after winches instead of working? Get off the cliff now. Calm down, I'm working on the toad. How so? If you aren't doing what you should be doing, you slack about and lie through your teeth. I'm not lying. I'm here to get magical components for a wizard who will help us break the spell on the alchemist. Of course. Move and get to work. Watch your tongue. What a rude little toad he was. Alright, so we have the ingredient that the wizard requires. Unfortunately, Allie is dead. You're back. Yes, I found the bandits and got rid of them, but Allie is dead. Poor Allie. Ibtissim grows gloomy for a moment. But you have the components. Good, good, very good. I do. How's your work on the spell going? What? Ah, uh, how's it going? I mean, much progress. But there's an issue with one formula. I need to ask the spirits. It's very complicated. Oh, no, no spirits. Knowing my luck, I'll end up fighting them. You won't be harmed, I assure you. Yes, yes, but you have to help me. How? I have to summon a water genie. It won't be a problem. It's common magic in my homeland. Yes, yes. I have a magic mug. A proper brew I must make. That's all I need to summon the spirit. Mm-hmm. Tell me what the problem is. Not safe is drinking the mixture. Fatal sometimes. The spirit can even possess the drinker. Dangerous. Very, very. We need a fortifying drink. A fortifying drink. You mean you need alcohol to protect yourself from the spirit? Is this some kind of joke? Joke? No, no. Necess necessity. Spirits affect drunken minds more lightly than sober ones. If you say so, then go down, buy something strong, and let's start. If this is not fortifying enough, no. Cold have real drinks. Go to Lando's storehouses and bring me a mug of cold vodka. I'll prepare the brew. Great. I'll be back soon. Alright, so now I need to go to Landau's estate and get him some strong spirits. Why does this cell sound like a load of hooey? It really, really does. And what is Lando going to want in return for these strong spirits? I do wonder. Well, that's cold forest. That's Landau's estate. That's where I turned off wrong the last time. Although, that forest was quite interesting. Fine, cold vodka. Why human watering here? No touch anything or you might break it. Hello, how's work? Mind your own business, get. I see you're working hard. Of course, as all colds do. Do you like drinking too? Duh, Orlando no lettuce though, but colds be smart. We know how to hide, haha. -ha. So you're drinking in secret? A smart decision. I'm sure you have really tasty drinks and a good hiding place. Cold vodka be strong. We keep it down there in corner. But, mom's word, I won't tell anybody. I have to go now. Find the right barrel. Well, that wasn't what I was looking for. 
Uh, but I did get like 800 gold. Okay. So, we're looking for... Ah, I bet we have to go in here. Oh look, there's a bunch of workers in here. And a locked door. Interesting. Storehouse basement. nothing more here. Well, it does say find the right barrel. They have lost the mug. You have received a built mug. Okay. And these guys just casually left me alone. Interesting. And that was another random person. That one had a star on his head, which means that he has probably recently been in some PvP and apparently won. Very good. All right, so we have the vodka that our wizard needs to continue his ritual to make this concoction and we will continue next time but until then bye for now yeah.